Hey produce people, so we're here in Winter Haven, Florida, and we're checking out a pomelo grove by Noble Citrus. Check out these starburst pomelos. Come with me and check out this grove tour. All right, everyone, so I'm walking through a Florida pomelo grove right now. These are packed and distributed by Noble Citrus right here in Central Florida. And guess what? You're gonna be able to see some of these pomelos at some of your local retail markets. A lot of grocery stores have these things and they're gonna be uh, more widespread. I mean, there is a ton of acres out here that I'm in. I mean, just being out here, checking out some of these groves is fantastic, everyone. Now everyone, Florida Starburst Pomelos are the largest citrus fruit grown on earth. It has the feel of a grapefruit with a sweeter, juicier flavor. I'm telling you, these are awesome. The largest citrus on earth. Look at the size of these pomelos, everyone. We are gonna check out this pomelo grove, so let's do this. These grapefruit are super sweet. They have low seeds to no seeds in there and they are bursting with bricks. But what does that mean? Bricks measures the natural sugar solids in citrus. Now, noble Florida Starburst pomelos have the highest bricks and the sweetest taste of any other U.S. pomelos. Now, quite simply, they're the best the U.S. has to offer. Now, the Rowe family discovered Florida Starburst pomelos over 25 years ago. They planted five trees and then five acres and then 100 acres, everyone. And guess what? They're still increasing acreage to this day. So when they first farmed, the Rowe kids would hand wash the fruit in five gallon buckets and label it their own. Today, much of the process in a pomelos is still done by hand, everyone. The pomelos are hand clipped from the tree as they are pulling off would fracture the top of the skin. They're unique and handled with great care from Grove to the factory. Here in a pomelo grove with Quentin Rowe from Noble Citrus. I'm excited. I just tried my very first pomelo, <laughs> Quentin. I didn't even know what to do with it. You saw me try to squeeze it. I cut it. I shared it, everyone. But now we're in a grove just like Juicy Crunch. I have no idea what to expect. I'm in a Florida citrus grove, very different than my traditional California citrus grove, which the soil's different, the land's different, just everything about it is different, everyone. What do we have here? I mean, this is a crazy looking piece of fruit that I just tried, man. So uh, this is a Florida pomelo. Uh, we call it the Starburst pomelo. Uh, hundreds of different varieties of pomelos that are grown as most people probably know pomelos were the original citrus out of china thousands of years ago so most all your varieties of citrus are offshoot of either a pomelo or a mandarin um, so the florida pomelo this particular variety of pomelo it just grew so gorgeous here in the central florida climate it comes to this beautiful creamy yellow uh, the skin is fairly uh, thin very meaty, very juicy, and we just have a great time with this piece of fruit. So we actually started this process with like four trees back in the late 90s. <laughs> There's okay. a lot more than four trees here today. Yeah, Quentin. yeah. And we put this uh, sticker on it. When we developed this sticker like 15 years ago, all of a sudden we had a retailer go, yeah, that makes sense. We get it. We understand what that piece of fruit is. All right. And we started putting that sticker on everything and all of a sudden, traditional retailers started saying, yeah, that's a gourmet trendy item we'll carry. Wow. And that allowed us to start planting more acres and we plant to the demand. So it's been very, very cool. Well, let's take a look at some more of these groves. Let's check it out. All right. I can't get over the fact how big these things are. I mean, like I said, even being a citrus guy, look, there, there's a little piece of citrus right there, a little piece. And then right next to it, um, just a large pomelo, everyone. Just huge pomelo and a great piece of citrus. So starburst pomelos are, they're something almost as big as your head, right? I mean, that's pretty cool when you get a piece of fruit that's big. It looks like a giant grapefruit, right? But when you cut it open and you got that pink flesh inside, what you have is a piece of fruit that's a little higher in bricks and lower in acid which gives you a higher ratio. That means a piece of fruit is sweeter than a grapefruit. That will start by the 1st of October, and we'll have these all the way through January, but it's just an exciting piece of fruit when you cut it open. There's so many different things you can do. 
Knowing that these trees originated from Southeast Asia is fascinating to me. Again, if you look at the history, they were probably in China around 100 BC. These seeds were then probably brought to Barbados in the early 1600s by a Captain Shadok. That's right. And this guy has gone by many names in the history books. But now we can say that the Roe family has engraved their names in Pomlo's history. Not just Pomlo's, the Starburst Pomlo's. And guess what? These have been growing for over 25 years here with the Roe family, everyone. And this citrus is amazing. All right, everyone, we are in a pomelo grove, literally inside of a tree, everyone. Just like I did with the Juicy Crunch, I had to get in it and see for myself. These things are bigger than my head. And as Quentin was saying, you gotta really, really look at these because I don't know if this is a softball, a volleyball, or a pomelo. It's a pomelo, everyone, and you can smell that aroma. Oh, citrus right here. Now, Quentin, on the outside. Now, do I look like a pomelo in here? Just, is my head big enough? <laughs> I, you're getting there. Uh, that, the ear kind of changes it because they're a little smoother than that. But yeah, oh. eyes wise, you're all in. I'm all in with the pomelos. Everybody, noble citrus, starburst pomelos. We're here in the grove. Check out the sand. Check out the soil. Check out the nutrients. Check out what noble citrus is procuring right here in central Florida for the globe. So we walked the grove. We were able to see some of these massive pomelos, some bigger than my head. We're gonna size some of them and then we're gonna cut some open and try them. Obviously we're picking some that uh, are coming out of cartons here, but we are in the grove, so that qualifies. These are not the largest pomelos that we grow. You can get a feel for size here. That piece of fruit will not fit inside a six inch sizer. There's six inches somewhere beyond six inches, maybe six and a half to seven inches. And that is not the biggest pomelo we grow. We go up three more sizes above this. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna cut this in half so you see what it's like when you open it up. Here we go. Oh boy. Wow. Now every once in a while you'll find one that has some seeds in it, which is kind of interesting. We're gonna try another one. Big knives, sharp knives. Okay, there's one with very few seeds in it. And you notice the star bursting out in the middle. That is where it gets its name from, Starburst Pomelo. So now we're gonna try a fun way to eat them in the grove. Different in the kitchen, but a fun way to eat them in the grove. You ready, Patrick? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. No fingers. Oh, we're gonna lose a finger? Or no fingers. There we go. There's the wedge. Wow. So this is going to be sweeter than a grapefruit because it's lower in acid, higher in bricks. The high notes are completely different. Mm. It looks like a grapefruit, looks for the world like a grapefruit. Completely different high notes. What do you think? <laughs> Would you like another one? Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> what can I say? Right? It's got a sweet flavor. Not like having to just pour sugar all over it, Quentin. Never cast it. No sugar. You can kind of just take the oh, whole wow. sections out. Wow, hey, and look, at the, look at that. You see how fleshy it is? Stupid seeds. Look at that piece of meat, everyone. Look, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't beat this. Fresh from the field. Quentin, this is awesome. I'm so glad you came out to try it. That's pretty cool. First the Juicy Crunch. Yep. Now a pomelo. What else do you have up your sleeve? It's going to get more exciting as the year goes on. I got treats for you. <laughs> what? I got treats for you. Everyone, it's been a joy being here with Quentin and Noble Citrus. Check out their Starburst pomelos at marketplaces near you. And guess what? We'll see you in the fields and on the horizon. Well, as I walk out of this Starburst Florida Pomelo Grove, I know one thing. There's oversized grapefruit everywhere, and the smell of freshness is all around. If you liked the video, please hit the subscribe button and follow. You can also check us out on Facebook and Instagram at The Produce Industry Podcast. We'll see you in the fields and on the horizon.